Today in 1559, Elizabeth I became Queen of all England. Yes, you do know who I mean. Gingery hair, big ruff, huge forehead. Oh, I know that might sound a bit disrespectful, but you know what? It's better than what she gets called by, like, proper historians, which is the Virgin Queen. I mean, she reigned during the period of flourishing drama with Shakespeare and Marlowe. She reigned for 44 years when everybody else was getting... <clears throat> she stopped even... She even stopped the Spanish taking over England. She did more than just not get married, which, by the way, is completely understandable. Do you know who her dad was? Henry VIII? Oh, let's see. Uh, mum executed, stepmum executed, other stepmum banished, other stepmum executed. You know, you can kind of see why staying single might have seemed kind of appealing. But how is she remembered? <laughs> Virgin Queen. And you know what's especially outrageous? Elizabeth I probably wasn't even a virgin. And when I say probably, I mean definitely. I mean, she was madly in love with her childhood friend, Robert Dudley, and, and the only reason they didn't get married was because he was married already, and, and she was very, very fond of Walter Raleigh, and why wouldn't she be? He was the guy who discovered the potato. Oh, you discovered this? What'd you do with it? Oh, fry it. That's amazing. Take me. Then after she'd eaten the fill of the potato, she probably had dumped them, you know, for what the potato had done to the size of her ass. The point is, though, this Virgin Queen thing's ridiculous. And, and, and it's to do with this thing that some things you can never shake off. You know, like Donald Trump and his hair. I'm kidding. That's I'm not Donald Trump and his hair. That, that's because it's super glued to his head. What I mean is, it's like that, you know, that sheep shagger joke. You shag one sheep. Like, kind of like David Hasselhoff. He did Baywatch. But what do we think? Burger. And, you know, personally, I am guilty of this because whenever I see Gerard Depardieu, all I think is he peed on a plane. He peed on a plane. And it's like so totally not fair because Gerard Depardieu has done plenty of other completely ridiculous things as well. Have we done? Is that it done? Do you want to put on that thing where you're doing all your infotech? Oh, infotech subscribe thing. Go on. Go on, it makes me laugh. Here, this is what you need to do. And then you just click here. Go on, put it on. Hi. So, you want to know when we upload a new video? I know you do. Click on subscribe. That's how you do it. And then once you've done that, log into your YouTube account, click on the little down arrow key or where your name is, and then click on settings. Then when you get this next screen, you click on email, and you can see subscription digest, and just choose. Do you want to be updated once a day with all your subscriptions, or once a week, or never at all? If you really want to go into it, there's a thing for managing your subscriptions. You can get an email whenever we upload anything as well, but keep it simple. Subscription Digest. Once a day. Who would do more than once a day? You would give Nav a chance.